want to make a cave in UE4 but not sure how to? Well, stick around because in this video I'm going to teach you three different ways you could make a cave. Yo what's up guys, it's Supreme here and today I'm showing you how to make a cave in UE4. I'm using my game's uh, environments to show you this so make sure you check out the dev logs after this and uh, yeah let's show you the first method. Okay so the first way is pretty simple, it's a bit of a cheatsy maneuver but it's basically just putting in rocks to uh, make a cave on top of your landscape so let's move uh, let's delete this so let's just show you what I'm talking about so basically this is the cave and you just have an entrance here and then you mold it out through the uh, rocks I don't have a roof right now so I use that block but that's the first way it's pretty easy doesn't take it much skill uh, but you know that's that's just how that so the second way is pretty easy it's great if you're a beginner because you all you also get to learn how to use the blueprints a bit by using it so basically let's uh, try it out so I'm gonna walk into this cave right now what you're gonna notice is this blackness is not just the darkness in the cave it's actually just a black box that I've made and now it actually teleports you into the cave area that you've seen previously so what I'm planning to do with my game is basically make it like a multi genre level so you have the starting area and there's all sorts of traps and areas that you need to escape this and obviously you go through this adventuring and exploring and go to different areas and each one has a different kind of trial and genre for you to uh, test yourself on but anyway so basically that's the second way now let me just show you the blueprint right here so basically uh, you can set a trigger box so that trigger box it's just this box over here and then I've put a black box in there just to make it look dark let's move that back but yeah that's how it is and now let's just look at the blueprint so you guys can know so it's on on actor begin overlap so basically this is has no collision so you can walk straight through it but the little box over here, this trigger box, this is set. So basically when you walk into the area that is the trigger box, you cast it to your test, uh, well, to your character. Mine's just called a test character for now because that's all it is. It's the default UE4 character. And then you have change map. You can also set location. So instead of me uh, teleporting to the cave over there, I could just teleport the player to like over there with that foggy mist is but that's irrelevant and then so what I've uh, done here is this is optional I've set it to gone so basically once the character is teleported once there they no longer have the option to teleport there basically uh, just to make it easy for you once they return so they don't keep teleporting over there uh, although you don't really have anything for them to do over there but Here's the last method and here's the uh, the bit everybody kind of looks for when they want to uh, make a, a cave in UE4. I already did a tutorial on how to make the hole in the landscape. So if you want to check that out, it'll be the pinned comment down below or it'll be a card on the screen, you know, in the top right. Essentially, if you want to make a hill, so this is my race area, so the character's going to start in here, have a little gunfight and then have to race the end. But... Uh, for this tutorial I've just made a huge hill in here hope you're happy what you'd probably want to do is make it a, a mountain and then have a cave in there now this actually works for the other two examples where you just make it out of rocks but if you want to have it like this where it's made out of the terrain like this sand what you can do is you can go to visibility but if you look at there that's where it says you must add a landscape visibility max no to your material that's where you watch my other tutorial because I teach you how to actually make that. Now I'm going to just make it real quick. So if you don't know how to make a landscape material, that other tutorial will do just fine for you. I'll teach you actually how to make it. But this one's a, an extremely simple one. I have a more uh, complicated one here, which I actually say how to do in the other one. So make sure you check that out. But let's just make the other landscape version. So what you actually want to do is like in this one you want to have the blend mode uh, mode to masked that's so usually it's opaque then you just want to make it masked and we also have to make a different set of materials for them uh, duplicate yep you're good and all we have to do here is just add an op opacity mask uh, there we go and then right click landscape visibility mask plug that in and that is good to go so what you want to do for, from there is if you can't see landscape whole material over here in the landscape section so all we did was click landscape and details you want to click this arrow and then 
there it is landscape hole material nope let's click uh, race one pop it in there now when we go to modes and let's make that a bit smaller uh, and then when we do that voila it is done so what you want to do from there is basically add a few rocks around it to make it look like an actual cave opening but another easy way to make a floor instead of making out of rocks is actually just to go over here landscape manage uh, add new landscape we just add a new landscape there create now we actually have a floor inside it instead of you know whatever and that's how you do it you can just obviously uh, the landscape hole doesn't have to be that huge but let's change it back to landscape one what we can do is basically if you don't want that m that amount of uh, thingy to be you can just go over and paint over it again and obviously change your brush and your fall off size and that's basically how you do it guys if you have any more questions to ask me or want me to change anything just but yeah if you like that make sure you check out the other one if you don't know how to make the landscape materials that one was really good it's my most viewed video on the channel right now and also make sure you check out my indie dev vlog and share this if you appreciate it it really well i'd appreciate that so anyway hope you guys have a good day and see ya